Guys, this is when I crashed my drone into a tree. It didn't break, but I'm gonna show you everything. But first, let me explain everything. What up guys, it's your boy Stefan Mouse. And on today on Stefan Tries It, I'm going to review the DJI, I keep saying DJI, uh, Phantom Drone. I uh, had my own experience with the drone myself. I've had it for two years, but I sold mine. I've got a new drone, but uh, I I did like the, that drone, and uh, there were certain features that I don't use it now. So, so which is the reason why I got a different drone. But I do have uh, I do have features of in videos of my film and my experience with the drone. But I do have a good guy named Junior Tech that's going to explain the ins and outs of the drone, a Phantom, and he has the drone still. So in a video, you're going to he's going to explain how it works because he does an amazing job explaining it. It's currently around four years old. I had the most expensive one, which is uh, which is the same one he has, uh, the one with the 4K camera, and it has a lot more features to it. I just call it the gold. There's the gold, and then there's the there's the standard, which just has HD. And and for some reason, I, f I feel like you can hear the audio on your with that one because I know with the with the gold one you can't hear the audio yeah and then I'm going to explain my experience I've uh, I've always made music videos with my drone and they work great with it so I'm going to also explain that towards the end but yeah so I'm gonna have my friend junior tech take it away and explain these drones in the review of the DJI Phantom 3 we're gonna go over the camera build quality setup and operating the drone pros and cons and using the app and controller and finally my final thoughts and opinion on it so let's get started with this review initially taken out of the box for storage then when you're ready to use you can just untuck it the controller can fit a tablet but also smartphones it has these little tabs right here and then you just press down on it and then it keeps it nice and secure you're also going to need a cord to connect your controller to your phone to turn on the controller all you have to do is tap and hold the batteries for the drone are very easy to take in and out and they slide right into place. I typically got anywhere from 15 and 25 minutes depending on how you're flying. If you're flying like crazy going up and down and going really fast, of course the battery's gonna drop down to the 15 to 10 minute range, but I typically got about 20 minutes. If you just tap on the battery, it's an indicator light to see how much battery is left. But if you tap and hold, just like the controller, it turns on. What I really love most about flying the Phantom was how user friendly it was. And what I mean by that, it doesn't matter if you're an expert or if you have never flew anything before in your life. Like right here for example, it has this auto takeoff feature. So if you're a beginner and you get a little nervous, you can have the Eden take off for itself. My overall experience while using the DJI Flight app was very positive. It's very easy to set up, use, and operate, and also easy to look at. You can switch in between if you want to look at the actual flight mode. So that means if when you're flying you can see what exactly your drone is seeing or you can switch it between maps. Another really cool thing about the app is you can basically change everything about the machine. So if you want you can change the exposure of the video, the resolution, format, whether you want to pictureize all the camera settings. Learning to fly the drone is very simple. From my personal experience I never flew anything before and I was a bit nervous while getting to learn how to fly this but it was actually a lot easier than I originally planned on and within about 5-10 minutes, I knew how to fly it. And within a few practice sessions, I was able to get pretty confident and able to fly in and out of things and through things as well. One of the best things I loved about flying this unit was it didn't matter if it was my 100th time flying it, I still had the same joy and I was very excited to fly it every time from the first to the last time I just flew it a couple days ago. The drone itself is very responsive and very mobile as well. The Phantom 3 can fly at speeds up to about 20 miles. Providing all the really smooth shots is the gimbal right here. And I have to say this gimbal works really great. It's really smooth on all the shots as you can tell in the video clips previously. Down and sideways, the camera adjusts perfectly towards it. And it makes it really smooth and makes the video quality a lot better because it's a lot easier to watch. DJI really paid attention to quality are really durable. You can tell that the controller I dropped it a few times and it still works and looks great and they really pay attention to every little detail. They made it so you could easily fold it up and put it away for transportation. The controller features such buttons as a stop and record for your videos and pictures. It has a little flywheel so you can adjust the exposure on the fly. 
It also has another flywheel so you can adjust the camera angle. It has also these customizable buttons on the back. And overall, the controller is very friendly to use, whether you're an expert or just a beginner. What's also provided with the Phantom 3 are an extra set of propellers, a traveling gimbal so you can put it on the camera so nothing happens to it, and then a charging brick to charge your batteries and the controller. I personally opted to go for two batteries just because you typically get about 20 minutes of runtime with one battery, so it's always useful to have as many as you can. Overall, I'm extremely happy with my purchase of the Phantom 3 Professional. It's been an absolute blast to fly, and I get a bunch of different looks when I'm flying it out and about, but it also has a very practical and useful applications as well. I have personally used this for family and friends, and also for realtors who wanted a picture of their housing to sell on the market, but also use it for fun time while flying it around. Two pros about the Phantom 3 is, first, it's very easy to learn how to fly it, and the second one is how durable it is. I have personally crashed the drone a bunch of times into the ground, and I have also flown into a tree going in about 15 to 10 miles an hour, and luckily nothing was broke, and it was very durable, and it still looks brand new. Of course, with every product there are cons, and this product is not short of it. For one, the battery I wish lasts a little bit longer, but you typically see that in most drones on the market. The second con is this could get you in some trouble in the near future. All right, here's my experience. Now, I used to make music videos, and um, all you got to do is pretty much you have a chip that goes in the drone on the side, and it f catches all these uh, these uh, films right here, these uh, pictures, and you can edit it. And right now, like, all everything out here is used to, is shot through a drone, even this one, and this too. Like, the camera is awesome. Uh, however, this is shot inside the house. It was pretty dangerous. <laughs> he almost hit him actually when this part. Uh, this is also shot in a drone. Um, this is actually how the footage looks before you edit it. Uh, it's muted. There's no audio. Um, and but you so so pretty much if you know how to sync, you have to sync the actual audio and then everything matches. And then you just edit the color and then everything comes out more clear. Uh, and let me show you how it looks like afterwards right here. See this? Yeah, that's the drone guys uh, I like you can actually watch the actual full video half the video was shot in with a drone uh, I'm gonna have the, the link in the descriptions below There's actually two videos actually shot. Here's the other video uh, This is pretty hard guys. This is, I, I barely knew how to use the drone, but I had to float the drone over him and had to hover him while somebody drove my car. And it was pretty awesome shot. Uh, I actually broke my drone, but and then this is when I accidentally crashed my drone into a tree, right here. It, it's, I had to pay uh, some people to come get it out. Uh, it was high in the tree. It, it cost me $75 to have somebody actually get this thing out. Uh, this is the first day I got it. Uh, this is how it shoots at night. Like, you do need a lot of light. This is my friend T-Smoke. He was uh, dancing around this. And this is me coming up out of nowhere. With my car in the background. Hey, guys. Fuck you! Uh, okay, well, yeah, I'm sorry. But um, pretty much, I was excited about the drone. Those are the Phantom drones. Uh, there are newer ones out right now, the four, but if you wanna go a cheap route and you wanna save some money, uh, you can get them on Amazon. Uh, if you, there's a, the description's below. Everything on my page that you see on my pages, I am selling, I have an item where you can go straight to the link on Amazon in the descriptions below. So there's three different um, Phantoms drones that are for sale on Amazon. Just click the link and then you can go right to it to the best deals. For the 4K is around is a thousand dollars plus shipping and handling. The standard HD is three ninety nine plus shipping and handling. There's also the standard with two batteries and a more of a package, which is seven ninety nine. It has everything in the descriptions. Just you gotta click the link and it'll show you everything. But yeah, subscribe to my channel. Click like, comment, let me know if you want, if you already have it, uh, your experience, and um, check out my videos.